In my previous episode, we saw how Oracle PeopleSoft enhanced global search functionality, making it easier for us to navigate. Just to give you a quick recap, as soon as I clicked on the search bar, it displayed my frequently visited pages. If I want to search for a page, I can start typing it. Even before I complete my search keyword, Oracle suggested relevant search results. Not only navigation, searching for data was made easy with people tools say dot finite. For example, if I, if I want to search for a supplier, I can change my category to suppliers. As soon as I place my cursor inside the search box, I could see the suppliers I recently visited along with other default supplier search results. If I want to search for a supplier called books for you, which is not in list, I will start typing books and even before I complete my keyword, Oracle displayed the search result with the supplier information that I am looking for. I can click on it and navigate to the supplier page. Not only ease of searching data, Oracle PeopleSoft also fixed one of the biggest drawbacks of global search. In the previous versions of PeopleSoft search, it was not possible to search for real-time data. For example, I added a supplier called PeopleSoft Channel and if I go back to my global search and search for PeopleSoft Channel, as you can see, system couldn't find the supplier that I just added. Oracle fixed this issue with a feature called real-time indexing. In this episode, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to enable real-time indexing so that we can search real-time data or should I say near real-time data by enabling real-time indexing in PeopleSoft. Without any delay, let's get started. Before I go ahead and kickstart the configuration, let me show you the big picture on how this real-time indexing works. Whenever we add a new real-time transaction after the index build process, in our example, I added a supplier. After clicking the save button, we all know data gets stored in application record called vendor. As part of real-time indexing configuration, we are going to add a database level trigger whenever a new supplier is added in this application record, the database trigger that we created will insert the new data into real-time staging record. This staging record is provided by Oracle. This is the first part. The second part is PeopleSoft delivered a process that runs on process scheduler for every five or 10 or 15 seconds based on how much time we configure checking for the new data in this real-time staging record. And as soon as it finds the data in this record, it publishes that data into Elasticsearch. If data is in Elasticsearch, it appears in the search results. That's it guys, that's how real-time indexing works. Now let's get our hands dirty and make this configuration work. Let's check if real-time indexing is enabled on my process scheduler. In order to do that, I will access my PS admin menu. Now I want to access process scheduler, I'll type two. I will administer this domain and I will select configure this domain. I will click yes. It is going to stop all my process scheduler services. And as you can see, property number six, real time indexing is already enabled on my process scheduler. If not, you have to select six and enable it. Since it's already enabled, I will go ahead and restart my process scheduler. I will boot my process scheduler. My process scheduler is up now. Let's move on to the next step in the configuration. As I mentioned before, there is a delivered process which checks every few seconds to see if there is any new data in the staging record. We can configure how many of those instances of that process can run in process scheduler configuration file. This is my process scheduler configuration file. I can look for that process called PS. This is the application process that checks staging record for new data for every few seconds. 
this is where we can configure how many instances of that process can run on process scheduler. I will keep the default values for this demo. Lastly, we have to configure some specific properties related to real-time indexing at search instance level. In order to do that, I will navigate to define search instances and I will search for my search instance and I will click on search options configuration. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, here are some of the properties that we can set for real-time indexing. The most important one is how often you want to check the staging record for new data. Right now, for every two seconds, the process is looking for the new data. That's it, guys. This is These are the prerequisites before we can configure real-time indexing for a specific search definition. Now it's time to enable real-time indexing at individual search definition level. In order to do that, I will navigate to People Tools, Search Framework, Real-time indexing, configure real-time indexing. Since I want to configure on our supplier search definition, I will click on EP AP vendor. As you can see, PeopleSoft has already populated some of the properties for us. All we need to do is enable real-time indexing on our search definition. As soon as you enable real-time indexing, you will notice that a hyperlink pops up and you can click on this hyperlink to download the trigger SQL. Also, if we scroll down, ensure that the correct trigger records are populated in this configuration. The new data that was added should be inserted into these records. That's about it. I'll go ahead and save our search definition. One last thing we have to do is we have to create that database trigger. As I mentioned a second ago, I can click on this hyperlink to download the Trigger SQL. As you can see on the bottom left hand corner, Trigger SQL file is downloaded. This is the file that was downloaded. I'll go ahead and copy the database level Trigger SQL. I'll go ahead and paste my database Trigger SQL. I'll run it and the trigger was successfully compiled. If you take a closer look at the SQL, what exactly this is doing is whenever a new data is inserted into our vendor table, it is inserting that new data into this real-time indexing staging table. Real-time indexing process pulls this table every two seconds and see if any new data is inserted. If so, it will transfer that data to Elasticsearch. If you are curious to know what data sits inside this table, just shut down the process scheduler and try to add new data into the vendor table you will notice data sits in this staging table that's it guys we are done with real-time indexing setup let's go ahead and test it since we just enabled real-time indexing i created a brand new supplier i haven't run index build process now let's go ahead and search our new supplier through global search i'll navigate to the home page and I will select the category as suppliers and I will select our new supplier. As you can see, this is the supplier I just added and I could search our new supplier without running index build process. That's it guys. This is how easy it is to configure real-time indexing in PeopleSoft. That's it for today guys. I hope the content was helpful for you. If you really like the content, don't forget to encourage me by hitting that like button below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.